Africa's newest inter-club football competition has finally kicked off. The inaugural African Football League will see eight of Africa's most famous and decorated teams compete for glory over four weeks. Despite growing skepticism about the new competition, CAF insists its newest product will add excitement and generate more revenue in African football. It is a complementary product that is supercharging African football. And um, at first it, must be mis it might be misunderstood, but I think it's going to change the face of African football. It is an, a, a platform for the continent's top clubs to play amongst each other in a quick, short format and generating the necessary excitement that will generate the necessary revenues from a TV audience point of view and many other aspects. The eight teams will play in a knockout format from the quarter-final to the semi-final and final. Each tie will be played over two legs on a home and away basis, with the winner taking home the grand prize of $4 million. CAF believes that this competition has the potential to help African football close the gap with European football, both on the field and commercially. If you think about the number of games the European teams are playing, each team plays about 54 to 60 matches. In Africa, our teams play about 30, 34 matches a season. That's almost half of that, right? If you look at an average point of view. Now, the reason, if you look at the 60 matches and the revenue that is generated from the 60 matches, Africa needs to catch up. Not only on the matches, because the matches is linked to content and content is linked to revenue. CAF is confident that the African Football League will grow to become the continent's most exciting competition. However, questions still remain on how the money generated will be distributed beyond the eight participating clubs to develop the game on the continent. Mohamed Abubakar for CGTN, Nairobi.